All right, Jessica Lewis, uh, in your new chair. Yeah. You're sporting a big smile. First, let's go back to yesterday. Um, having the Paralympic petal um, in your presence uh, takes you back to London 2012? Yeah, it definitely does. Yeah, it was an amazing, amazing experience. And to see the pedal again was great. Yeah. Now, brand new sporty bike, still got the pink. Yes. Um, yeah. Your plans for the year and, um, and your goals? Uh, so, it's a busy year this year because we have two big competitions coming up. So, we have the Para Pan Am, which is in Toronto in August. And then we have World Championships in Qatar in October. Uh, so those are pretty much the main goals uh, for me this year. Um, and I'll be going to Switzerland at the end of this month uh, for a couple races. And then we go to a different place every weekend in June. So that's going to be a very busy month um, all over the States and Canada. And then uh, gearing up for uh, Para Pan Am Games. Now that's a big one. Uh, you've, you've already competed at the Olympics, which is, I don't think there's anything bigger yeah. than that. Yeah. But uh, what are you expecting from yourself come... Uh, July, August in Toronto? Um, I'm hoping to be on the podium. Uh, it'll be amazing, amazing to be there. Um, training really, really hard and just hoping to get there and, and do my best. Yeah. Now this brand new bike obviously makes you feel a lot faster. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the fact that you now have it and you've gotten a chance to get a feel for it, uh, it's a little longer, obviously a little heavier. Yeah. Um, what adjustments are you making in order to allow yourself to be faster on the track? Um, so just getting used to the weight of it and uh, being uh, sure that I put in all the power that I can every uh, stroke to make it uh, go faster and, and just keep it moving. Yeah. Now we have um, other athletes um, that want to aspire to do some of the things that you've done. Um, what do you say to those people who are looking to achieve just to get to a, a level of, of uh, one that um, people can admire for them? Uh, definitely to just keep believing in yourself and believe that you have the ability to do it and to train really, really hard and work your butt off. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, you're heading back tomorrow. Uh, how's school going for you? Uh, school's going great. Um, I'm taking a light course load just because of training. Uh, so I just finished my fourth year at the school and I will have about two more years to get my bachelor's degree. Um, and it's going, it's going really well. Yeah. Uh, do you find the pressure of school and uh, training and competing to get hectic sometimes? Uh, not, it's not too bad lately, um, just because the racing season is in the summer when I'm done school, so it's kind of like I have my school time that I focus on that, and then um, I have my racing time that I focus on that. Now, your coach is well known around the world. Uh, mm -hmm. What are some of the small things he's allowed you to, to do to continue to be yourself, but he's also taught you that you need to improve on? Um, just to be uh, dedicated and, and to eat right and to... Um, like keep hydrated and, and all that kind of thing and and to be yourself and just be out there and do everything you can to be accomplished in this. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck and hopefully I'll see you in Toronto. All right. Thank you. <laughs>